हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जीके अपडेट्स हे देयर सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 लचित दिवस लचित डे इज अ रीजनल पब्लिक हॉलिडे इन व्हिच स्टेट ऑब्जर्वड ऑन नवंबर 24th ईच ईयर ऑप्शन 1 असम ऑप्शन 2 पंजाब ऑप्शन 3 केरला ऑप्शन 4 ओडिशा The correct answer is Assam. Lachit Divas Lachit Day is a regional public holiday in the Indian state of Assam, observed on November 24th each year. On this holiday, the Assamese government celebrates the birth anniversary of the legendary Ahom Army General Lachit Bofukun. Chaw Lachit was an army general Bofukun from Assam who fought relentlessly to curb the expansion of the Mughal Empire in Assam. Question number 2. Mere Asset Investment Managers India has launched the Mere Asset Banking and Financial Services Fund. The fund will be managed by whom? Option 1: Harshad Borawake. Option 2: Gaurav Kochar. Option 3: Nivesh Pathania. Option 4: Both 1 and 2. The correct answer is Harshad Borawake and Gaurav Kochar. Mere Asset Investment Managers India has launched the Mere Asset Banking and Financial Services Fund. LT is an open-ended equity scheme investing in the banking and financial services sector. The NFO for the fund will open for subscription on November 25th and will close on December 4, 2020. The fund will be managed by Harshad Borawake and Gaurav Kochar. Question number 3. Mamadou Tandia passed away in November 2020. He was related to which of the following fields? Option 1: Acting. Option 2: Politics. Option 3: Singing. Option 4: Medicine. The correct answer is politics. Niger's former president Mamadou Tandia passed in November 2020. Tandia was elected president twice and ruled the country between 1999 and 2010. He was overthrown by a military coup on February 18, 2010. Tandia's ouster paved the way for Issoufou Mamadou to become president in the 2011 election. Tanja's death came just over a month before Niger's presidential election. Question number 4. Over 310 lakh tons of paddy has been procured during the Kharif marketing season, an increase of how much percent over 2019? Option 1. 12.66. Option 2. 14.80. Option 3. 16.22. Option 4. 18.78. The correct answer is 18.78%. Over 310 lakh tons of paddy has been procured during the Kharif marketing season, an increase of 18.78% over 2019. Out of the total purchase, Punjab alone has contributed over 202 lakh tons which is 65.24% of total procurement. More than 28 lakh 45 thousand farmers have already benefited from the procurement operations with minimum support price value of 58,644 crore rupees. Question number five: The researchers of which of the following institutes have developed an efficient decentralized wastewater treatment and recycling system for rural areas? Option one: Indian Institute of Science. Option two: IIT Bombay. Option three, IIT Delhi. Option four, it Roorkee. The correct answer is Indian Institute of Science.
Indian Institute of Science researchers have developed an efficient decentralized wastewater treatment and recycling system for rural areas. A study on decentralized wastewater treatment systems developed by it was published in the Journal of Water Process Engineering. The water treatment system is economical and enables reuse of wastewater, reducing dependence on freshwater resources. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. Question number 6. In November 2020, which of the following has launched a gold jewelry insurance scheme, Gold Shield for its customers in partnership with Bajaj Alliance General Insurance? Option 1. Manappuram Finance Limited. Option 2. Muthoot Finance. Option 3. Sriram Transport Finance. Option 4. Kosamattam Finances Gold Loan. The correct answer is Muthoot Finance. Muthoot Finance has launched a gold jewelry insurance scheme, Gold Shield for its customers in partnership with Bajaj Alliance General Insurance. The policy provides insurance coverage of gold jewelry for individuals. This is designed to provide insurance coverage of gold jewelry articles for customers of the company at the time of closure of gold loan and release of gold ornaments. Question number 7. In November 2020, Infosys ET's wholly owned subsidiary Edgeworth Systems has bagged a contract from Zag Bank. Zag Bank is based in which country? Option 1. Kazakhstan. Option 2. Mongolia. Option 3. Tajikistan. Option 4. Azerbaijan. The correct answer is Mongolia. Infosys ET's wholly owned subsidiary Edgeworth Systems has bagged a contract from Mongolia based Zag Bank. It will use Infosys Finical's core banking, treasury, and corporate banking solution to drive digital transformation. This Finical solution suite is aimed at helping the bank accelerate its digitalization and automation journey across the enterprise. Question number 8. China successfully launched its first unmanned space mission in November 2020 to collect samples from the moon's surface and return to Earth. It successfully launched which of the following probes from the southern province of Hainan? Option 1. Aksamaz. Option 2. Artemis 2. Option 3. Chang 5. Option 4. Luna 24. The correct answer is Chang 5. China successfully launched its first unmanned space mission on the 24th of November 2020 to collect samples from the moon's surface and return to Earth. LT successfully launched the Chang 5 lunar probe from the southern province of Hainan. Chang 5 is one of the most complicated and challenging missions in China's aerospace history, as well as the world's first moon sample mission in more than 40 years. Question number 9. What is the rank of Mumbai in the Prime Global Cities Index released by Knight Frank in November 2020? Option 1. 27. Option 2. 29. Option 3. 31. Option 4. 33. The correct answer is. 33. Delhi has performed better than Mumbai and Bengaluru and is ranked 27th on Knight Frank's Global Index. The index that measures annual price appreciation of luxury residential properties. Mumbai and Bengaluru were placed at the 33rd and 34th positions, respectively. Globally, Delhi ranked 27th with a 0.2% annual price change for the period Q3 2019 Q3 2020. Question number 10. Which of the following has joined hands with PNB MetLife India Insurance Company Limited to launch Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana? Option 1. Airtel Payments Bank. 
Option 2. Paytm Payments Bank. Option 3. India Post Payments Bank. Option 4. Fino Payments Bank. The correct answer is India Post Payments Bank. India Post Payments Bank IPPB has joined hands with PNB MetLife India Insurance Company Limited to launch Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana. The unique scheme offers life cover on death of the insured member due to any reason. The scheme will be optional for all the savings account holders with India Post Payments Bank. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.